What's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, winter came back. Whew. Got up this morning and it is about 40 degrees outside, but got to get an early start on the day. I've got to go pick up my brother and then I've got John from GP Rents and Davis coming out making a delivery this morning. Whew. It's chilly out here because we're fixing to start another fencing project. So back during the winter, my brother and I built fence out here to put have a place to put the the calves out there and we just needed more separate pens i like to have ways to move animals around and separate them and rotate them things like that and when we were doing that project the goal was to build that fence and then you know immediately move over here and fence in this whole bottom so you can see behind me my barns back here the gate to the goat pens right here that you see all the time and then this bottom all you see through here down towards the greenhouse so it's going to go from the barn down past the greenhouse and the creek runs that tree line so we're going to fence down the creek bank and then back up fence in probably i'm not sure maybe four or five acres but uh we're going to do it a little bit different so instead of digging holes and setting all of our pipe corner post in concrete gp rents has a new tool that they put on the front of a skid steer a skid loader and it'll drive those pipe in the ground and john tells me it's supposed to be able to drive up to a six inch pipe six feet in the ground which we're only going to be using two and seven eighths inch pipe so instead of using concrete we're just going to drive all of our posts in the ground i've never done this before but i've done a lot of research on it and everybody says it works really well and one of the perks there is you don't have to take the time to dig the holes and then buy concrete concrete your pipe in the ground and then wait for three or four or five days for the concrete to set up before you start welding in your braces and stretching your fence. So as soon as you drive those posts in the ground, you can weld your braces in and if you are ready, stretch your fence the same day. So supposedly it works really well. Anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling. Hopefully John gets here pretty quick with the skid steer, the Kubota skid steer, and uh, I gotta go pick up my brother. So it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be fun. I say fun, we're building fence. It's gonna be exciting. Oh, Bella. Hi, Bella. Good morning, Bella. Good morning, Bella. What's up, girl? What are you doing? Hmm? One, two, three. <clears throat> That's how I like. You don't even know anything no, about the man. internet. The pipe's over here. Yeah. Well, you're pulling. Oh, man. You're in the screen. The machine will be in the okay. screen. All right. Stand the pipe up. Well, that was pretty crazy. That first pipe just said Zoonk, right in the ground. I know we're, we're we're in pretty soft ground back here in this bottom, and we're actually right next to the creek. So I know they're not going to be hard to drive, but that is going to be a huge time saver versus digging holes, cleaning out the holes, getting the pipe in there, getting the pipe all in the right spot, concreting them in the ground, waiting several days. I've never built fence like this. I've never stretched wire off of posts that were just driven in the ground but <laughs> i'm impressed so far that was fast
some nine foot. That's eighteen. So we need to add three feet on each one of these. No, we don't. You just keep your seat. I'll get this. So that'll make just sit there and think. That'll make both latches right there. Them two pipes. I mean, post would. Hey, I figured out why that so hard to cut. It's got a liner. It's got a liner in it. Leaning or pushing? Push it away from you. It looks pretty good. Somebody messed up. I, I'm not sure if it was me or I'm not sure if it was my brother, but you see how tall these pipe are. <laughs> so, so what happens is that pipe goes so far up into that box. When you're driving, you don't realize that the pipe, the top of the pipe is like way up here. So it looks like it's plenty tall. And my goofy brother, here's how he makes a, a mark so we know how far to drive it. He goes, and he puts spit and it makes a line. Terrible. And that fades away in like a minute. <laughs> so this one just got drove a little extra deep. So we'll have to come back and weld a piece on top, which going too deep is not a problem because that just means farther in the ground, the stronger it's going to be. But we got a short one. And the far, you know, the down brace down there, obviously those are short because those are an angle brace that go to the ground. But uh, the old hammer here, the hammer. No, this is a time saver, man. This thing's awesome. This is saving us so much time versus digging all these holes and cleaning them out, all that stuff I said earlier. We're going to get all the posts ready to go in one day. Well, it's 1.30 and we are officially finished driving post in the ground. This thing is a time saver and a half. I'm just, was, I've been skeptical about driving these posts like this. So as you can see, where I'm at now is up by the chicken house or the, this is the pin that the, the uh, weaning pin for the little goats right now. But eventually, it's, well, before we get finished, we're gonna put a 12 foot gate in here and then the fence will go on down towards the greenhouse. And obviously this is gonna get moved but it's in use right now, so it's built on skids. We can slide it out of the way after the fence is done. It's a matter, Bear. But this thing is a time saver and a half. We drove 17 pipe in the ground today. So if we were gonna dig all the holes, we'd have had at least a full day of digging posts and then come back and concreting uh, those posts in the ground, which would have been about two bags of concrete a piece. So we're probably roughly looking at about 150 to $160 worth of concrete. Plus, if we would have had to have rented some kind of machine to dig the holes, whether we use the, the walk-behind auger or 
an auger on a skid steer, auger on a tractor, whatever it was. We'd had to have rented something probably um, to dig the holes. So this machine, how much does it cost if somebody wanted to go out and rent a Kubota skid steer with the big hammer post driver? It's right at $300 a day, taxes and fees, everything included. Right at $300 for a full day. If you're prepared, if you have all your posts cut and in place and all you have to do is come in and drive them, you could probably easily drive 50, 60 posts in a day, uh, depending on what kind of fence you're building. You know, we're doing pipe. I haven't driven any wooden posts, but I'm fixing to go set up and drive a wooden post just to see how long it takes because, now here's the thing. Listen, I haven't tried wooden, whoop, stepped on bear's foot. Sorry, buddy. I haven't tried to drive a wooden post with this thing yet. Obviously the pipe are small. We're using two and seven eighths inch pipe and they're hollow. But the guys at GP Rents swear to me that this thing will drive a wooden post, like a six inch wooden post. They drove a six by six square post in the ground, two feet. Now that's a flat bottom post. That just blows my mind, I, I don't know. But the thing has a claw on it, and which doesn't work really great with the pipe. That's why my brother and I were kind of working together because the pipe just slide out. But that claw will grab a hold of a wooden post, stand it up, and then drive it. So, I don't know. I had to take my brother home. He's got another little job to go do for somebody else. So I'm gonna go play with this thing uh, by myself. I've got some wooden posts. We're gonna go try to drive a six inch wooden post in the ground just to see what it'll do. How's that for proof? Wow, I'm six foot three. This was a 10 foot post that's, well, I'm just gonna be quite honest. It's a 10 foot post that was sitting in a junk pile and has been sitting around here for nah, several years. It was a used post that came out of the ground and then has been laying here for a couple years. So it's a little uh, bummed up at the top, but that thing right there is legit. I mean, Holy moly, they told me it would drive a wooden post. That was a 10 foot long, six inch, solid, flat bottom wooden post that you just watched that Kubota skid steer with that big, now nah, I'm not gonna, I don't know how you say that. Dancer, D-A-N-U-S-E-R is the brand, but they call it the hammer. And I'm telling you what, if you got fence posts to drive for any reason at all, I'm not talking about T-post, like, metal pipe or wooden fence post that machine right there <laughs> is well worth the money i can just sit here and watch this thing all day just beat wooden post into the ground that is cool so projects like that right there and what you've just watched us do all day today are exactly why i chose to partner with a company like gp rents and great plains Kubota because there's things that i need to do that i need to get done here on my farm that i don't need to take weeks to do we drove 17 pipe in the ground have all the pipe ready for for the next fence project done now my brother and i can come back in here cut all the braces weld them in and we're ready to start driving t-posts and stretching wire we don't it's not going to take us weeks that thing right there as i said earlier the kubota skid steer the svl 75 uh, with the hammer on the front of it rents for just under 300 dollars a day i know that sounds like a lot of money but if you're building fence that will save you a tremendous amount of time and you're not buying all the concrete and all that 
and holy smokes you saw what it can do it just blows my mind it i mean that that wooden post right there is literally in the ground at least four feet if not a little bit maybe closer to five because i'm six foot tall and that thing is not as tall as me it was a 10 foot post anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video